Hey guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and in this video, I'm doing a deck profile of Blood Drain 2.0. So this was a deck I created a while ago, but I've only recently updated it, and I just played against Unleash, and I won, so I also tested a few other times and won, but this is the new deck. Let me guys show you everything that you can do with it. Um, first, let's start off with Crane Pool. This is an awesome counter card because it can counter any action, battle, or response card, and it's only a one cost. So if your opponent plays like a sneak little blooming sakura or wait no not sorry not blooming sakura but like a perfect pruning which is a crazy good draw support you can basically cancel it for the same cost then we got blooming sakura to can to counter blood trees which we do end up having two of them i just have an x glare one because you know i think it's cool but um blood tree will basically drain your opponent every time they draw a card and if they have card draw cards that's going to be even more so blood tree is a must in this deck so that's kind of why it's called blood drain then we got two Midnight Horrors to charge up your Beta Core's ability. And also just you can discard a bunch of cards and play this card for pretty much free. And it acts as either an Assault Unit or a Defensive Unit. Then we have a Zero Cost Jealousy. If you need to draw two cards and you're in a pinch, you can take two damage to your core and draw them. Then we have three Black Cats. This card can actually get around the Blood Tree because it's technically not drawing a card. And it's just really good for... Um, searching your deck and getting some good ones. Then we have Chest of Riches, which allows you to draw three cards for only a two cost. Like, what is this? And then you, we have three copies of Floating Chest, which allows you to draw two cards for one cost. Like, what is that? So, like, that's the best card draw in the game with Perfect Pruning also. So, Perfect Pruning is basically look at the top three cards of your deck and take two and put the last two in your dead and put the last one in your dead zone. That's basically like Floating Chest, but better. And then Loyal Ember Witch. Is basically like a human blood tree because you can discard a card once or you can discard the card from your hand or the top card of your deck and your opponent's core takes one damage so if you have this blood tree and loyal ember witch you can have your opponent take two damage in pretty much one round from just having two cards to play then we have two leaning watchtowers just as a quick defensive unit which is pretty strong then we have high which is manor which is actually really good it's only a four cost seven health and if you have a rare unit in play set this unit's health to 10 which is really good um then we have rainus for our first royal wear because he's the he is the goat of wrath of Cores, the best royal wear in my opinion and then angel of embers um to basically because she has three effects um and the first one being if you're if a loyal ember witch kills an assault unit or sorry not loyal ember witch angel of embers kills an assault unit the enemy core takes one damage so you guys can kind of see the theme the enemy core taking a lot of damage and then siphon core we only have one copy but deal one damage to the enemy core and then recover one hp to your core so you can kind of tie this in with jealousy to recover that those two um damage that that you took then two recruitment just to reduce costs two ruins of belgu it's a quick defense unit that can block a quick hit and you can draw a card when it's killed then we have three warfront expedites these aren't that crazy right now but still powerful so for being a zero cost you definitely need to add these to your deck and then this is a counter card for leaning watchtower because you can it's a two cost and you can one shot a leaning watchtower which is good then we have the devil twins Zion and sonia and if these guys are comboed they can basically set their health to 10 which is powerful and they just have decent abilities in general for four costs three precious golds they're the black lotus of wrath of cores and then the beta core of course so that was blood train 2.0 you guys can Take this deck and add it on untap or edit it in your own style. But let me know if you guys have any questions and want to see more Wrath of Course deck profiles. Um, yeah, that was this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.